everyone. Today I'm going to talk about five things I wish I knew before I started my channel. This is a tag and it was started by the lovely Kristen from Kristen's Tutorials. And a lot of the girls that are in this collab are doing 10 things they wish they knew before starting their channel. I think I'm going to do five. So I'm going to start off with my number five, which is I wish I had known how much time and dedication it takes to have a YouTube channel. When I started my channel, I had a lot of time on my hands, so it was like a hobby. I started doing it just, you know, extra time. I had these ideas that I wanted to do and so on. So uploading, editing, filming wasn't a problem for me. Now when I'm working full time and I have to deal with homework and going back to school and everything else, I just have to take every chance I have to kind of pre-film and then have those waiting there and then have time to go back and edit and then upload, which takes forever. And it's just so much work. And you have to kind of be consistent, which is something that I haven't really been doing with my channel because of the lack of time. Uh, I'm trying to work with it. I'm trying to get back in the, in the swing of things with uploading and editing and all that stuff and trying to fit it into my life. But that is a really big thing that I just, I wish I had known before I started. My number four thing is I wish I had known more about the lights and equipment and cameras and all that stuff that's needed to be able to create content. Um, a, the majority or a lot, a big percentage of the YouTube community starts with just a phone, filming with their phone. Um, that's what I'm doing. I started, I'm starting filming with my phone. I haven't gotten a camera yet, uh, which is something, one of my goals for the near future. But for now, um, I don't have lights. I don't have a backdrop. I don't have any, any of that. So it's just like basic, basic stuff that I have. I don't have, I haven't bought some expensive, crazy editing software, nothing. So there's a lot of things involved that when you're a viewer, you don't really know. Like it's like a behind the scenes for a TV show or a movie or a, or a restaurant. Like you don't know how much work goes into just making a video. Um, my sister told me, well, all you, all you have to do is talk. Well, it's not just all you have to do is talk. There's a lot of other things that have to come together before you put something out there. So that will be my number four is I wish I had known the equipment and the lighting and all the stuff that's needed so that way I could have been a little bit better prepared. But now I know what's needed so I'm working towards that. My number three thing is I wish I would have known of all the YouTube drama that goes on. Um, before, I re before I started creating videos I didn't really know about all the drama that was in the beauty community or in the YouTube community uh, because I would just go search what I had to search and watched whatever and that was it once I started creating um, I started seeing the 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 way how harsh a certain community can be within its members or the members within the community um Sometimes it's hate, sometimes uh, it's jealousy between creators, and sometimes it's drama with companies or, or stuff like that, but there's always, there's always something going on. And that's something that when you are a subscriber or when you're a viewer, you don't really, you're not really aware of. And once you're inside, you start getting exposed to all the different behind the scenes or, or just stuff that's out there that you weren't aware of before. So um, not that that makes a difference, but it's just something I didn't know before I started my channel. My number two thing uh, that I wish I knew is how hard it is to build a subscriber base. For some people, it's really easy because they either have just that likability or natural talent or they know exactly what content to put out at the right moment. So a lot of people can find their videos or they have a lot of relatives and friends and stuff like that but it takes a lot to be able to build your subscriber base uh, you have to be really involved in a lot of social media media like twitter facebook snapchat periscope like uh, the more time passes the more social media there is to be involved in out there so you have to have some kind of engagement 
with your subscribers and you have to put yourself out there. You have to be on different social media or or basically you're not going to get anywhere. It's really hard to build a subscriber base. If that is your only focus on YouTube, then good luck. But if you are on YouTube just as a way to get your mind off of things, to have fun, to explore your creativity, or to just even socialize. Because even though we're talking to a camera, there, we do interact with other YouTubers that leave comments on our videos, other uh, just viewers, or, you know, this is a form of social media. So you really have to be involved. You can't just make the video and then just forget about everything because that's not how it works. You have to put effort into, you know, getting exposure and just um, getting your name out there or your content or your Facebook account, your Twitter, through word of mouth, whatever it is, it is not so easy to just say, oh, overnight, bam, I got a million subscribers. You have to kind of work through it work to it and work to make your content better um, <clears throat> every every time you know you try to put a little bit more effort to it come up with new ideas or you know just keep up with trending videos whatever it is it's a lot of hard work my number one thing and I put it number one because this would be the most important to me um, and basically why and basically it's the most positive um, I think the number one thing that I wish I knew before starting my channel would be how many people you meet. You make friends that you've never even met, total strangers that you just start talking to or you click to, uh, click, click with. And like I said, it, it doesn't have to be a another YouTuber. It could be another YouTube creator. It could be a subscriber, a viewer. You just build friendships um, with people that you don't even know face to face. And that can lead to a long, long lasting friendship. And maybe one is one person's in California and the other one's over here in Florida. And they become the best of friends and they're, they become a support system. I am in the in a beauty group on Facebook and I've made I've met a lot of really great people really nice people and everybody's so supportive of each other and i'm so glad that i joined that group because now i interact with people outside of my area outside of my state that i have stuff in common with and that's a really really good thing for me i love meeting people i i love making friends people that are total strangers and then out of nowhere, you you have a connection with them and they become someone, they become a part of your life, even if it's long distance. So if I would have known this earlier, I would have done, I would have started my channel way, way sooner. So that is like a big uh, deal for me, just having that interaction with people outside of my area that, that I've never even met before. So um, I just wanted to keep it short and sweet and simple. And those are basically my five things I wish I knew before starting my channel. So um, everybody else that is doing this tag or this collaboration um, along with me will be linked down below, including Christmas tutorials that started this whole shenanigan. So um, thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.